Today we're going to be talking about drowning mealybugs. Mealybugs are every succulent grower's worst nightmare, but unfortunately they are very common and if you've got a few succulents it is very likely that you will come across these at some stage. Um, here I've got Echeveria Fantastic Fountain and there is a mealybug egg that has hatched in here so you can see all those little white bits in the center of the rosette that's that's mealybugs i think this guy has one as well so there are a few telltale signs of a mealybug infestation one is deformed rosettes so mealybugs feed on the juices of plants and by doing so they deform they deform the leaves and um, make little marks so the brown marks and the odd shaped leaves in the middle are the handiwork of mealybugs um, we do have uh, quite a long article on our website succulentgrowingtips.com about how to deal with mealybugs the problem with these pests is that they are particularly hard to kill there is very few pesticides out there that will effectively kill mealybugs and mealybugs also build resistance to pesticides so um, there are very very few methods of um, managing and keeping mealybugs at bay um, one question that keeps popping up is can you drown mealybugs while they're on plants well to be honest, the question to that would be yes and no. So yes, you can drown mealybugs in a bucket of water like this, but you also run a chance of killing your plant. I have tried this a few times and it takes about two days before the mealybugs start dying. So I'm going to show you um, pretty much for you if you would try if you want to try and do this what has to be done um, but to be honest I would not recommend doing this because as I said you are likely to kill your plant anyway nevertheless um, we're going to give it a go to just see as an experiment what will happen so to kill the mealybugs the plant needs to be submerged completely so i'm just going to pop it all in let all the bubbles get out of the pot turn it around just to help them out okay so pop it right on the bottom it still wants to float well, sometimes i just turn it upside down yep no still wants to float um well the center is pretty submerged so eventually it will sink i'm not going to be filming this for the next 10 minutes to show you how it sinks so um once you have it in just leave it as long as the bit that has the mealybug is submerged so, yes it will it will slowly sink basically um i am going to come back to this tomorrow um i'll try and get a macro attachment for my camera so we can inspect how those little buggers are doing after a day of being submerged in the water right so 24 hours have passed since we've submerged this plant um so let's see how the mealy bugs are doing i'm going to try and see if i can show you um just by focusing the camera as close as i can can um so let's see i think you'll be able to see just like this so oops okay so there's a few mealybugs right here they're still quite small so there is a good chance that they have drowned so basically smaller the mealybug the better the chance of it drowning sooner so smaller smaller younger mealybugs will drown 
quicker than big fat mealybugs that have um, this cocoon around them which they produce to um, shield themselves so the first one that I've picked was dead but this second one is I think it's wiggling its legs still so I'll just pop them here now let's see also the deeper they go into the rosette the more chance of them having had a oh that's definitely one alive I can see him um, moving its legs so 24 hours is definitely not enough um, it's not enough to um, kill kill the mealybugs on plants so um, I'm going to pop this plant back in the water to see if the mealybugs will die um, after being submerged for further 24 hours um, I think after two days underwater, the plant would most almost definitely die. Um, it may survive another day, so three days, but it is stretching it quite a bit. Some plants are more resilient, so um, succulents like Hobotias or the hardy, hardy types of Crassulas or Graptopetalums may survive underwater for longer periods, but succulents that are already quite sensitive to overwatering like your Romeo or Pearl von Nuremberg they might they might die a lot sooner or they might die a few days after as a result of being submerged for so long um, but yeah let's um as I said this is an experiment um, the fantastic fountain is quite hardy we're growing her outside in the rain so it's not particularly sensitive to water but yeah this is really testing its resilience but yeah let's um let's see what another 24 hours will do and then i will monitor the plant for two weeks after after its ordeal under the water and um i'll make another video to show progress. All right, so back it goes. And yeah, we'll check on it again tomorrow. It's been 48 hours since I first submerged this echoviria in order to kill some mealybugs. Yesterday, we found out that 24 hours is just not enough, so let's see what 48 hours underwater does to mealybugs. Alright, so uh, this poor thing seems still alive. Um, I'll keep monitoring it closely to see if it survives being underwater for 48 hours. Um, I've tried this before with other succulents and so far all, all of them have survived but I never tried with plants that I know are a bit touchy so all the hybrid echoverias that do not quite like the rain um, such as echoveria romeo or laui um, anything that's quite expensive i wouldn't i wouldn't really try all right so let's see oops sorry um so let's try these guys that are right down in the center because they're the ones if anything survives they are the ones that um are the most likely to it seems that yeah they're all pretty dead oh no hang on this guy is still wriggling his legs yep so this one here definitely still alive um let's try him Yep, so I suppose um, this is a little bit disappointing, but the conclusion is that drowning mealybugs is not 
a fantastic idea in the first place because you need well as we now found out even 48 hours may not be enough if the infestation is quite bad oh, another live one here oops sorry i just squashed him um so yeah it's um i would not recommend this as a method of getting rid of mealybugs um there's an article on our website that explains in quite a detail how to best um, control and try and minimize the chance of mealybugs taking hold. Um, it is based on, whew, I think it's eight years now, eight years experience um, of growing succulents commercially. So yeah, we have seen quite a few mealybugs in our time and um, drowning them is not the the best idea um, so yeah if you if you'd like to um, find out more about mealybugs on succulents head over to succulentgrowingtips.com I will um, I will post the link to the article below this video so yeah thank you for watching